All right, so here's a theory that I find interesting. In one video we did, we detailed the effects of Compound V on the human body, but neither the show nor comic has really detailed what exactly determines a soup's power. As we can see from the show, Compound V has about two variants, or technically three. We'll talk about that later. The first is the Compound V formula given to children. This is the standard V that doesn't really work on adults, at least in most cases. However, it usually works on children, and as we see from Victoria, and Newman's daughter Zoe, the formula works on teenagers too. There is also Temp V, labeled by Vought as V24, which was initially created under Stan Edgar as a way to sell superpowers and Compound B to the US government as a power up for boots on the ground soldiers. However, as mentioned, there's also a third variation of Compound V, initially created by Frederick Vought himself. That is the stabilized variant which allows fully grown adults to permanently have their powers without any fatal side effects. Among the first to take this variant of Compound V were Stormfront, Frederick Vaught's wife, and Soldier Boy, a top candidate from the US government's Super Soldier Project. Both would end up becoming some of the most powerful soups in the world before Homelander, and both seemingly are the only soups who haven't aged as a direct cause of the Frederick Vaught version of the serum. Both Stormfront and Soldier Boy are clocking in at about 103 years old and obviously are not aging a day. Now that we know the variants, and they all have their pros and cons, we can see that generally they do the same thing, which is give the person injected with the serum superpowers. But again, what actually is the deciding factor on which power you get? Here's my theory. I think it relies heavily on your genetics to determine your powers, and indeed, two people can have the same powers, but you're more than likely to inherit them if you are related. Here's an example. Polarity and his son Andre from Gen V are both metal psychics. They can control metal with their minds, like Magneto from the Marvel comics. Andre was injected with Compound V as a kid, so he didn't inherit his powers from his father by inheritance the natural way, but he was more genetically prone to getting the same abilities when exposed to Compound V. Then there's also Huey and his dad. As we see in the third season, when Huey takes Temp V, his powers are more based around phase shifting and teleporting long distances and through walls. His dad had the same powers after he was given the V, being able again to phase through walls and people. Both hadn't been exposed to Compound V before, so there was no genetic pass through during childbirth, but both had at least somewhat the same power set or at least a close variation of it. And before I get to my last point, there is one more example, the sheep from episode five. All the sheep in their terrifying horde had the same power set of flying and increased strength. Well, except they had a weakness to doors for some reason. Apart from this, sheep are usually due to population sizes, domestication, selective breeding especially, more genetically similar within the species or at least within herds when compared to human, i.e. there is less genetic variation, less genetic diversity. Additionally, it was confirmed in Gen V that Marie Monroe and Victoria Newman have the same power of being able to control blood, exemplifying that two genetically different people can have the same powers but it's much rarer if it's not a generic superpower like flight, super speed, or being a speedster like A-Train, Shockwave, and Mr. Marathon. The last example, of course, is Ryan and Homelander. Ryan is genetically the son of Becca and Homelander, and Ryan, since the first moment we saw him, seems to demonstrate the same abilities as his father, even down to flying. Unlike everyone else I detailed here, however, Ryan is the first natural hero birth, so Compound V runs in his veins naturally, but he wasn't tested on from birth like Homelander, so I don't think that bot scientists really could have chosen his powers as I think they did with Homelander. And before you say, well, Vought can't do that, they can't choose powers, look at Soldier Boy. He is Homelander's genetic father and the subject of Homelander's conception is basically summed up like this. Vought chose the strongest soup at the time, used his genetic material to create Homelander, and fine-tuned his powers directly. So, looking at all of these examples, I think we can come to several conclusions. Compound V relies heavily on your genetics to determine your powers, much like other genetic traits like eye color or how tall you are. Compound V can give two people from different families, or not close relations at least, the same powers, it's just more rare unless the powers are somewhat generic like flying or super strength, which seem to be somewhat baseline powers and are maybe tied to a common DNA marker, which is not reliant on close family connections. Vought also has the ability to tune and customize specific emergent powers, but it involves experimentation and heavy involvement by Vought with a genetics lab, as was the case 
with Homelander and Soldier Boy, who gained radiation blast abilities after being exposed to so much radiation. So what do you think about Compound V and its effects on people's genes? Do you think we are right with the evidence that shows us all of this, or are we talking nonsense? Let us know in the comments below.